the next chapter, uh, the funeral prayer. So obviously, um, washing, shrouding, and now we're going to discuss performing the prayer, praying over the deceased, much like the previous two chapters. Uh, it is a communal obligation, and this obligation is fulfilled with one person of legal capacity, even if they be female or bond servant. Offering uh, the funeral prayer in congregation, however, is recommended. So you can fulfill this obligation um, with just one person praying over the deceased. What is preferred is that the, the funeral prayer be held in congregation, and the larger the congregation, the better. The funeral prayer, it has eight prerequisites, um, which are intention, um, as all acts of worship, uh, that the person praying be of legal capacity, that they face the qibla, um, that they cover the aura, they are free of najasa, any types of impurities, uh, that, the, that the deceased be present if they are in the country. So here the author is distinguishing between um, uh, basically um, praying over the deceased who is uh, who has passed away in another country, something that was uh, the Prophet والسلام, did for uh, Najashi, who was the king of Ethiopia. This is both the one praying and being prayed upon being Muslim and their purification, even if with earth. So they obviously have to be in a state of purity, having made tahara, whether that be water-based or earth-based. Uh, it has seven pillars, the prayer, which are standing for the obligatory prayer. Uh, the four takbirs, there are four altogether in the prayer, reciting uh, al-Fatiha, praying upon the Prophet wasallam, supplication for the deceased, the salam, uh, which is to exit the prayer, and sequence. So these things have to be done in order. Um, the order here should be noted that after the first takbir, uh, the person reads Al-Fatiha. After the second takbir, uh, the one leading the prayer, uh, prays upon the Prophet wasallam. Those two must be done absolutely in sequence. And then um, there is supplication for the deceased. Now this can occur after the third takbir, or it can occur after the fourth takbir. Um, and of course, the salam is what concludes the prayer altogether. Uh, it is recommended for the imam and the lone individual, meaning someone that's going to pray by themselves, to stand at the chest of a man. So the deceased will be placed in front of the congregation. Obviously, you're not praying to the deceased. You're praying for the deceased. Their location just happens to be there. According to prophetic tradition, they are placed in front of the imam and the imam stands at, at, at the chest level of a man and then at the waist or the middle of a woman. And if it happens to be a, a, a hermaphrodite or a junta, then the imam stands between those two, right? Between the male and the female, stands between the chest and between the waist. Uh, the description of the prayer is as follows. First, an intention is made, and then takbir, which is saying, Allahu Akbar. Then uh, Al-Fatiha is read, another takbir is made, and um, prayer upon the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam is done, much like we find in the Tashahud, when we say Allahumma salli ala Muhammad wa ala Ali Muhammad, um, etc. Uh, then another takbir is made, and a supplication for the deceased uh, should be made here. Um, supplications, uh, asking Allah to shower them with mercy, etc., and it's preferred that these supplications be done with something that has been reported by the Prophet And those supplications are widely available in the various different books of, of dua, etc. Um, then another takbir is made. Essentially, this is going to be the fourth takbir. And there is a brief pause. And then the taslim is made, which is to say, Assalamu alaikum. Uh, one time is sufficient. Uh, one time can be enough. You can say assalamu alaikum twice. And even if you do not say wa rahmatullah, uh, that would be complete. So traditionally you'll find that when making the taslim, it's assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. However, uh, for the funeral prayer, you can uh, say assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah one time, which is sufficient, or assalamu alaikum 
and that is also sufficient to conclude the funeral prayer.